everybody. My name is Katrina. I'm here to help. Still tired. Yes, exhaustion isn't fun, but I'm here. And today I'm gonna show you my new phone. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm hoping it's outside the video because we are not supposed to talk about openers in YouTube, so I'm opening it just outside the video. So, putting the opener away, and then here it is. I haven't seen it yet either, so we're doing it together. Strange. Uh, there. It's always fun to open boxes, right? So, bubble wrap, box, so here we are. There's something here, I think. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not affiliated to Apple in any way. I'm just an Apple girl. <laughs> yeah. So I don't get anything. Um, oh, it's a seal. You see there, yeah. I'm not getting anything to show money-wise for sharing this I do it because it's fun and hopefully you think it's fun too I remove the thingies and then the box just slides open and there it is as it doesn't look that tiny does it no it looks like exactly the same size I had before but the difference I think is that this phone is somewhat more like the iPhone I had before, the 4S kind, before, before. In between I had a 4SE, but this one is quite heavier. I think it's back to the uh, more original design, heavier and uh, glass and Oh, I have to read the instruction manual from here on, but there it is. It's basically the same size. It has two cameras, so I can make better videos, I hope. Not better. <laughs> it's, uh, better. Um, I'm still going to be me, but uh, the quality of the digital transference hopefully will be better. So, there it is. Yes. <laughs> it took quite some thinking, but when I finally ordered it, it took about a day before I got it. And I think it's the same uh, charger that I had before. It looks like this. So, um, I think that's something Apple does that they have the uh, same chargers and it has this little thing here I think there are could that be the instruction manual oh no it's um, it's the uh, opener so I can open it without a paper clip <laughs> that's my kind of them and uh, you can put the sticker on something <laughs> and information yes so I'm gonna read through that later on but I do things in shorter um, episodes now shorter times so what that means for me is that today I opened it yesterday I picked it up 
and now it's just gonna sit here and I'm gonna get used to it. <laughs> it's kind of like a, um, a therapy where I, um, you know, if you have a phobia of uh, big open squares or clowns or anything, uh, then I learned that the, um, the therapist is doing a portion of uh, everything so you get used to if you are the client the client get used to uh, small portions and then they scale up so this is my way of doing that I pick up first day second day today when you are with me I open the box and uh, look at the item and then uh, next step to uh, start it up when I have read the manual so that's my tip for you if it feels overwhelming which it usually does for me uh, I do things in smaller portions over time and that makes me uh, be not as overwhelmed I can uh, just spread uh, the uh, tasks out over more time. Yes, so that's one way of doing stuff for people that are perhaps autistic, perhaps sensitive, whichever. If it feels better for you, try it out. It's a tip. If you don't like it and you have a good routine, that's fine. But I wanted this routine before, so now I'm sharing it with you so you can see if you have a better day feeling less overwhelmed while doing stuff in smaller portions. Think about it. Yes. Hmm. Today's Friday and I am have a, a good green coffee today from Rufford shop. I will put that in the description. <laughs> I'm not an affiliate there either. So this is just, I tried this and I liked it. You can try it too if you like. So green coffee is good for the stomach. Uh, black coffee is not for me anymore. And um, so with the occasional iced coffee. I have made a video of that. We'll put that in the description too. A simple iced coffee for warmer days with syrup. That's also a good thing. So that's um, tip for today. Take it easy on yourself. Do stuff in tiny steps so it doesn't get overwhelming. And you can uh, do an inventory before where you are. making a plan of these small steps. I do one, but I don't write it down, so I remember it all, but it's different for all of us. That's how I do it. Um, paper and pen usually works. Uh, you can write on your digital stuff if you like. It's uh, just a plan that's important. Wherever you keep it, it's not important. Make a plan, change it if you like and stick to it when you have made a decision. So that's how I do it. Uh, it makes stuff easier. You can activate your own autopilot in that way and then you can um, make changes as you go. That's why I uh, remember when I have done something that this wasn't optional, uh, this wasn't the best way to do it. I recalibrate the autopilot for next time and then uh, it goes quite easier. So uh, during the time I haven't used my phone, I, I have put a new autopilot in for cleaning uh, the kitchen, for an example, and then it goes much easier. I don't have to think about it and I don't have to feel anything about it, and that's more just energy conserving for the next task. Yes, so that's the video for today. Opening a phone, <laughs> that's fun. A box and going over tips for
you and me to not get overwhelmed by everything and green coffee good for the stomach with that i um, hope you if you want to spread this message like and subscribe so more people can find the information that perhaps need it and i wish you a good day and a good weekend bye